So dear students, so you have uh, developed that wonderful website or that wonderful web portal and you have that wonderful and perfect domain name also. But how do you convert all of this into your objective? Your objective is sales, sale of a product, sale of a service. And how do you bring in the customers? How do you, how do you get their attention? Now in the traditional market or in the traditional business, the paradigms are different. Because say for example, let's consider the example of a trade show. Now in a trade show, there may be maybe uh, dozens, maybe 50 or so booths uh, where uh, some people are showing certain live feed of some things happening or there is certain video going on or certain application is being shown, demonstrated. But in the context of the web, there are hundreds and thousands of millions of customers, actually, actually more than that, billions and millions of those kind of booths. So you are looking for and competing for the attention in a trade show with a million booths. You get the picture. In the conventional environment, it is a challenge, but on the web, it is even a bigger challenge. So that is the point I'm trying to make. So how do you go about it? So you have to use and connect with the social media. So there are about eight different ways or different uh, approaches or things you have to take into consideration while getting your customers, while use the social media to connect to your customers, use the social media. So all of these eight I will cover in two modules. So you can read on the screen application of social media, locate your customers, best practices, time saving tools and so on. The list goes on. So I will go over them one by one in more detail and uh, this will enable you to understand the concept in a better way. Applications of social media, build relationships. How do you build relationship? For example, you go to a certain page, you like that page and uh, that a certain person or people come to your page and they like the page, refer to your page. So you also reciprocate it. You also like their page. Of course, it is likable also. And you also share that page. And so that builds the relationships. Build your brand. Your brand, uh, you, you build your brand based upon how you interact, what you offer, what is on your web page, what is on your website and you have to drive traffic to your website. How do you drive traffic to your website? When you go to a blogs and you write certain things, you offer certain things always at the bottom, there has to be the URL. There has to be the address of your website. Remember the backlink so the people come to your website for more detail and that gets you the traffic. Establish expertise, write about things about which you know, research about things so that you develop credibility in the market. You develop credibility in the domain that you know those things and you are uh, considered as an expert and make sales. That is the final thing. Make sales because without the sales, all of these efforts, they are not very interesting. Make sales. So we go to the next thing. Look at your customers. Now let's consider the real life. In real life, you cannot be shopping you cannot be driving, you cannot be watching a cricket match, you cannot be uh, jogging, you cannot be uh, texting, whatever, all at the same time. The same is true for your potential customers also. So you should know where do they spend time. There are uh, blogs, there are bulletin boards, uh, there are interest groups, there are websites, there are portals which are specific to certain interests. So the customers or your people which are of interest, you should know where they're hanging about and what are their interests, what they are interested in. So the point I'm trying to make is that you should know all about this. You should do research about this. You should go to those blogs. You should go to those portals. You should write over there. You should offer things over there and always a backlink to your website. 
do some research develop a marketing strategy when you know all those things there is no good knowing all those things if you cannot put them to use so develop a marketing strategy uh, comparing the social networks now uh, there is when we say a social media social networks these are the some of the leaders big big leaders now you should be aware you should know that what are the domains what are uh, the interests what are the age groups what are the genders what are your customers potential customers looking for if you look at the sheer numbers facebook there is no comparison with facebook it is you can see thousand times ahead thousand times ahead of the competition but are the your customers over there if you are offering jobs if you are looking for job then maybe facebook is not a good choice maybe linkedin is a good choice over here right and if the jobs you are offering they are for fresh graduates then maybe linkedin is, is not a good choice maybe you should you should go to twitter or maybe you should uh, use twitter although it may not sound a good choice but you should be available to good ideas new ideas also and uh, if if you are looking for uh, selling your products showcasing your products products not so showcasing your products then you go to pinterest because there are pictures over there lots and lots of pictures but remember if you look at the demographics over here it is women of under age 50 so if if they are male products then maybe pinterest is not a good choice so the point i'm trying to make over here is that you should be uh, aware of the footprint of the social media you should be aware about the age and demographics of the social media and you should be aware about the interest also and then use all of them to your benefit to get to your customers to use the social media that's the point i'm trying to make that's all i have to talk in this module